A Sacramento family says they are the victim of a mistaken identity shooting, and now their son has a 1% chance of ever walking again. The shooting happened in South Sacramento. Three cousins were shot by gang members believing they were rivals. Police say they were not. ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sangha talked with the family of one of the survivors about how they are trying to overcome this tragedy. Get some vitamin D, brother. These are the small victories the Martinez family is holding on to. Their son Johnny taking a small walk as they deal with the dark cloud hanging over them. You see it all the time and it's always heartbreaking, but when it happens to you, it's just totally different. It's just a different... Lisa Martinez says the road to recovery for her son is long, as the 28-year-old deals with a spinal cord injury and is currently paralyzed from the waist down. It's usually around this time is when he starts getting really, really agitated and angry and why me and what I do and that kind of stuff. And so it's really hard. Nights are really hard for him, hard for me, hard for all of us. The nightmare happened two weeks ago. Johnny and another family member were helping their cousin Isaiah Vasquez move into his new home in South Sacramento. Good kids. They were such good kids. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says that is when two known gang members shot at the three cousins, believing they were rival gang members. But police say they were innocent bystanders. Vasquez died, and Johnny and his other cousin are facing critical injuries. Police arrested Fernando Zambrano and Luis Camarillo. Um, unfortunately, a lot of gang-related crimes go unreported, and people are afraid to talk to us. But when they do cooperate and talk to us, it makes our job a lot easier. As the family tries to heal from this ordeal, the bad luck just keeps piling on. Recently, they had their car stolen. Now, it was found, but only after it was stripped of its parts. The family says Johnny has 1% chance of ever walking again. While they remain strong because of their support system, they are raising money to help with medical bills and renovate the house to be wheelchair accessible. I have to build ramps. I have to knock down walls. Even though the family has been dealt a difficult hand, they're holding on to hope and believing better days are ahead. I believe that something good is going to happen out of this, you know, and I firmly believe he is that 1%. Powerful story. Garsh Paul, thank you. If you want to help the family, a GoFundMe link is included in this story on our website, abc10.com. The two suspects are being held in custody without bail.